Excellent! What's up guys? Welcome back to Paul's Hardware. I have a very exciting video for you guys. I'm going to try to make this quick because I'm in San Francisco right now. I was invited by AMD for a Ryzen Tech Day. They have announced new information. Uh, it's confirmed. We have at least three SKUs. Uh, we have pricing. We have a launch date. So I'm just going to get right into the hard data and I'm going to be reading off some notes here. So starting March 2nd, you're going to be able to buy up to three Ryzen, Ryzen 7 series CPUs. Uh, you can get all three if you want, or you can just buy one of them. Uh, you, get, you can actually start pre-ordering these CPUs on February 22nd. And at launch, you can actually buy a full Ryzen system. They're going to have 185 different retailers and boutique OEMs that will have systems available. From the top, there is the 1800X, the Ryzen 7. 1800X. It's going to cost $499. That's less than a lot of people anticipated. It's uh, All these CPUs in the Ryzen 7 series are 8-core, 16-thread processors. Uh, the 1800X has a 3.6 gigahertz base clock, a 4 gigahertz boost clock. They didn't confirm the TDP, although we've heard rumors that it should be 95 watts, which is confirmed to be the TDP of the next step down, which is the 1700X. Back to the 1800X though, uh, in Cinebench it's about 9% faster than a 6900K in the multi-threaded testing that AMD did. And a single-threaded test it's about equal in instructions per clock performance to a 6900K and only 500 bucks, which is significantly less than a 6900K costs right now. For $400 or 399 you can get a 1700X, that one is a 3.4 GHz base clock, 3.8 GHz boost clock, 95 watt TDP, and again, we're assuming that also applies to the 1800X, although that wasn't confirmed for sure. The 1700X in AMD's tests beats the 8-core 6900K and the 6-core 6800K by about 4% and 39% respectively in Cinebench R15. That's in the multi-threaded test, of course. So we are getting some benefits in these Cinebench tests from the fact that Ryzen does have eight cores and 16 threads, whereas some of these CPUs from Intel they're comparing them to are only six core or four core. But if that's all Intel has, and if they're charging as much as they're charging for their eight core and 10 core parts, then uh, this is a nice kick in the pants for them. Uh, the final chip that they've confirmed today is the one I think is gonna be most interesting to you guys. $325, you can get yourself an R7-1700. Uh, it's a three gigahertz base clock, 3.7 gigahertz boost clock, 65 watt TDP, so it shouldn't even be as hot as uh, the 1700X and the 1800X. 20 megabyte L2 and L3 cache, and again, in AMD's tests, they showed it beating a 4-core 7700K by about 46% in Cinebench R15. And of course, the 7700K costs a little bit more than the $325 right now, depending, of course, on where you buy it. Uh, now, those are the three processors. Those are the ones we know, and those are the ones that are going to be up for sale, uh, either pre-order February 22nd or up for sale at retailers on March 2nd. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. We now know what the processors cost. We now know where, uh, when we're going to be able to buy them. Uh, we have not had a chance, of course, to do independent testing of any of these, but AMD did have some demos to run, so uh, let me at least share some of those with you really quick. Uh, in Cinebench R15, they have been testing this, of course, for a while since Ryzen was first sort of announced and publicized. The 1800X in their test was 9% 9, 9 faster in multi-threaded and equal performance in single-threaded testing to the uh, 6900K. That's pretty nice. They also did a gaming test with Sniper Elite 2. This is in DirectX 12 mode, running at 4K. Uh, they're running with dual RX 480s, uh, and they had a 6900K versus an R7 1800X. The 1800X was about 5 to 10 frames per second faster hitting about 75 to 80 frames per second uh, in that test, which was pretty nice. And then they also did a handbrake test uh, for video encoding. Uh, that was at the Ryzen 7 1700 versus the 7700K. Uh, and the Ryzen system in that test was 10 seconds faster than the 7700K. And as I already mentioned, it costs less than the 7700K, so that's pretty nice. Uh, now, there are, are some other random specs and stuff that they listed I thought you guys might find inter interesting. Uh, so the Ryzen die, for example, is built from 4.8 billion transistors. It also has 2,000 meters of signal wire in there, which is pretty insane to think about for such a small little CPU. Uh, AMD's goal when they were developing Ryzen was 40% instructions per clock improvement over their previous generation, uh, which is the excavator, excavator core. And in Cinebench tests, uh, as well as overall, but of course it depends on what types of uh, tests you're running, they actually achieved 52%. IPC improvement over the last generation. That's pretty damn impressive, actually. The entire crowd uh, burst into a little bit of applause when they did that. 
Uh, now, at launch, because you're going to need a motherboard to go along with your processor, they're saying that they're going to have 82 different AM4 motherboards available from a variety of all of the uh, motherboard vendors that you've come to know and love. They had some on display downstairs. There was an AT there were ATX and micro ATX versions. I did also ask them about mini ATX motherboards. Uh, they are expecting them to come out, probably not right at launch, but they will be uh, coming out in the future. Nah, not much further confirmation besides that, but yes, mini ITX will be coming for Ryzen soon. Uh, they have 19 system builders, like boutique system builders, uh, that are going to have Ryzen PCs at launch. And they have going to have up to 200 by the end of Q1, so they're going to be working with all of the uh, system builder partners that uh, you may have heard of in the past. And then again, March, March 2nd is the launch date for this. It will be sale for sale worldwide. They're saying it will have strong availability, which I take to mean that yes, there will be lots of them. But given the pricing here, you might still expect them to sell out. So we usually don't recommend pre-orders, but uh, you never know. I mean, if you really want to rise in, you might want to pay attention to that February 22nd pre-order date uh, when pre-orders will go up for sale. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about Ryzen, but I wanted to leave you guys with one last thing. That's a look at an actual Vega GPU. Yeah, this is the same one that they had on display at CES, but they weren't letting anyone take a very close-up look at it unless you were special like Linus and you can get special treatment. But anyway, even then they had it like taped over with gaff tape and stuff. They don't have it uh, taped over now, so you can actually see the power delivery on it is a 6-pin and an 8-pin. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to see. Again, this is an engineering sample board. That's why it's got like a USB 3.0 header on it and stuff like that. But that wraps it up for this video, guys. Again, I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. All that information uh, is really exciting news. I'm really excited for Ryzen. I think the pricing is right in line with what we were hoping it would be because it's really gonna challenge Intel on a lot of fronts. And it's gonna bring like an eight core uh, CPU, eight core 16 thread CPU down to a little bit, little bit more reasonable uh, price for people who are looking to build a higher end system for gaming or content creation or what have you. Of course, we don't have any independent tests yet. All of those are gonna be coming out in the future. So uh, keep an eye, of course, on my channel as well as lots of other channels. I'll post some links to some people who are here down in the description too. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. We'll see you next time.